Hey guys, subscribe for daily content. And if you're shopping for gear, make sure you check out the description for the newest items at some of the very best online retailers. There's also links for some of the items that I personally recommend. Thanks. What's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here and today I've got another short little unboxing video to share with you guys. Um, I have absolutely no idea what's in this box. I feel like I recognize the handwriting, but there's not enough information here for me to come to a solid conclusion. So thanks to whoever sent it. Uh, we'll find out what's in there together. As per usual, if it's something I can link, I will link it right down below so you guys can check it out. It does help my channel when you use my links, but that is entirely up to you. Thanks to my patrons for supporting me, and please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. Okay, let's find out what's in this mysterious package. Um, it's I can tell you that it's something pretty nice because of the what it costs to insure the package. So it is definitely intriguing. <laughs> In case you feel the need to... <laughs> ah, I'm sorry. Sometimes I get excited and I spit all over the place, right? <laughs> all right. Appreciate that. Um, let's see. Uh, oh, my God. I love you. I love you. Now you don't have to steal. Oh, man. Thanks. I'm out, too. I'm running out. I can't tell you how much I appreciate that. That's awesome. What else we got here? Oh, no. No, 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 no. Comment mitigation. Oh, is this what I think it is? Oh, oh yes. <laughs> I finally have my own, my own gloves. Oh, yes. I'm fancy. Guys, listen. I've grown beyond the primitive ways of the past, okay? We're evolving on this channel, huh? Knives are no longer tools. Knives are strictly works of art, and they must be handled with care. Delicate, <laughs> precision works of art. I'll wear them for the rest of the... I'll use these, though, because I don't like getting fingerprints on stuff. I, I like that I finally have... Well, okay, I don't like getting fingerprints on stuff that is, you know, something that might be more safe clean. Oh, it is, it is. I was going to say, this seems like something Scott would do. All right. Yeah, I was going to say, I knew I recognized the handwriting. I just didn't have anything else out there. What do we got here, man? We got something crazy. All right. Scott, what'd you send me? Oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> I'm sure he sent me, uh, oh, this is great. See, I can touch it all I want, and there's no fingerprints on it, right? Um, Scott sent me, oh, God, I got to do that again. <laughs> Look at this. That is beautiful. Oh, my gosh. And, you know, this is it, it's one of those things. You know, to some people, it's beautiful. And to many, I would say the vast majority, it's gaudy, right? That looks like a gas station knife. I wouldn't pay 25 cents for that. Yeah. Heard it all. Um, but uh, to me, this is beautiful. Um, regardless of your preference, regardless of your aesthetic taste, which is all different, it's all valid, right? Of course. Um, this is something that took a long time to create, and it is something um, that is made with materials that cost a lot of money. Even if you don't like how those materials look, they continue to... You know, they just factually do cost more money. Um, but uh, that's uh, looks like mirror Damacor, yeah, or at least it's a mirror San Mai, right? Uh, gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. This is Zerkatai. Um, a lot of heavy orange with blue veins. I like that, and then of course the gray part. That's the zirconium infused. Look at that pivot. It is gorgeous. Um, we also have Zerkatai thumb studs. Um, I'm sure you guys are wondering, what the heck is that knife? Okay. People always say, this is, this is what I get on this channel. This is what I get. Why do you always review expensive knives that nobody can get? Gaw! Gaw! All you ever do is review expensive knives. Stupid! Or, all you ever do is review cheap knives. They're like $50. It's, it's everything. It's everything I see. It's just like, you know, a Civivi that costs $50. Gaw! You guys should uh, switch places and watch the other content. Oh, this is Dalibor Bergam. Oh, this is an Asgard. Oh, of course. I didn't even realize it's an integral. Look at this. Oh, man. 
I'm so excited to finally handle something from Dalibor Burgum. Oh, that is just beautiful, man. Oh, 400 series stainless on the jackets and RWL 34 core. So it's San Mai, right? Oh, man. Grade 5 tie. Uh, CP. It says CP and Zerk. I don't know what he means by that. Um, that uh, is extremely. Is it copper? No? I don't know. I don't know what it is. I'm trying to think of, you know, in relationship to materials that you would put on a knife, what is, what could that stand for? This is exciting. So I just recently spoke with uh, Dalibor Burgum and I just messaged him. I said, hey, I really like your work. You know, I knew that his books were <laughs> just like packed. So there's no way. But I just said, hey, I like your work. And he messaged back and we chatted for a little bit. And uh, I, uh, you know, just thought it, at some point it would be really cool to handle something because I've always admired the big, he does like, you know, big, crazy overbuilt integrals. And they, they look like, you know, they, 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 they look like ancient monsters or they look like dragons kind of. And, and the, uh, you know, just everything is just very epic, right? It's very appealing to me. So, yeah. Does it say in here? What the heck? that means okay just to further explain a thing or two uh he says that dalibor bergen uh makes his own sand my patterns by milling the channels on each side with 0.2 millimeter height precision uh that takes about a day to mill out but the end results uh i get are perfectly centered uh, a perfectly centered core i did it with pattern plates the patterning process would be done within minutes but the core wouldn't be as centered I use RWL34 as a core material. I have no problem with that. I love L RWL34 as a core material for one simple reason. RWL reacts to acid the least out of all popular heat treatable materials as XHP, LMAX, etc. With XHP, you always get the core covered with a kind of shade of gray. RWL is closest after etch to armored core, but isn't as soft. It's fully hardened and heat treated steel. That's really cool. I, lo I love RWL34. All right. Um, so if you're interested, it still reacts to acid, but a bit, uh, a bit, but very minimal. And with my etching method, which is basically three times etch with a bit of work in between to get the very nice contrast and very bright core, won't bother you anymore with the whole process. LOL. <laughs> um, yeah, you see what he's talking about there. That is uh, beautiful. And the core is, uh, you have that true mirror on there. Right. This always messes with the lighting on my camera. That is a beautiful, beautiful integral. And let me tell you, yeah, lockup is completely solid. Oh, the action here. Oh, what a stunner, man. What an absolute stunner. Okay. Um, that's beautiful. I will absolutely do a video on this. This is obviously a, uh, a handmade custom knife and I don't review handmade custom knives, but I do like to showcase them. So down the road, you will get a showcase slash presentation slash show and tell with more information. We'll go over the design. We'll go over the aesthetic choices, things like that. Um, but custom knives on this channel are treated very differently than, you know, regular economic uh, you know, folding knives that are much more likely to be obtained and used as tools. I think you can understand the logic behind that. Um, I think, uh, I think that'll be pretty much it. That's not to say that this knife wouldn't make a good tool. If you decided to use this, right? A lot of people assume because it's shiny and pretty, that means it's delicate. Uh, no, not, a, not at all. Uh, actually, everything here is extremely durable and extremely well suited if you so chose to use it. Uh, it's well suited for use. You can think whatever you want, but the fact is this is very different than a knife that is pure art, right? This is absolutely like over the top in the aesthetic. And it's, it's you know, some people like it, some people don't, but um, it is expensive to make and it is absolutely suited for use if the end user chose to. Um, but uh, I think that's going to be pretty much it, guys. <laughs> I could talk about that thing for forever. 
Please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do, of course, have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like. So check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on that metal complex logo right there and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a great day.